Well, hello traders, Dale here from the forexguy.com and in today's video tutorial, I'm basically going to show you, basically walk you through step by step, how you actually do install custom indicators uh, into MT4. And this will actually be part of the installation tutorial for my price action battle station tool. So that's what I'll be using as the example for this uh, tutorial, but you can actually replicate but the steps here and basically use it to install any custom indicator that you find on the internet or someone's given you into MT4 the correct way. So first thing you need to do is get access to the MT4 data folder. Now be careful because you might think you know where this is, but depending on the way your MT4 installation was initially installed, whether it was installed for all users or your user only on Windows or it's running in portable mode uh, there's a few different places it can be okay they updated that in build 600 and the easiest way is just to go up to the top here file open data folder just always use that method it'll take you to the place that uh, MT4 is actually looking for its files now this will bring up the MT4 folder here what you basically going to be looking at is the MQL4 folder there. Uh, that's where all the indicators and robots or whatever scripts, whatever you've got, they're all stored. So we open that up and that basically gives us where the access to where all the tools are. Now, I'm just going to assume that you have limited computer knowledge because some of my members uh, like the newbies when it comes to computers and that. So when you download the battle station and maybe when you download your custom indicator, it may come in a zip file. So you need to understand file extensions for Windows and obviously other operating systems. When you see that dot zip at the end, that basically means it's a zip file. If you actually can't see file extensions at the end, you probably can't because Windows will actually hide the file extension by default. Uh, so the better way to do it is to go to the control panel, just type fo folder, uh, and then we want to go to this file explorer options. It might be called something different compared to, um, depending on what Windows version you have. Uh, we want to click on the view tab, and you just want to actually untick hide extensions for known file types. I always do that because I want to see what the file extension is. Uh, so that's just a little tip for you, but thankfully zip files are handled by Windows naturally, so you don't have to download any other software or anything. You just basically double click on them. So a zip file is a, a special type of file, which it's like a compressed container. So it, do, it does two things. It can hold multiple files at once and it compresses them down and squashes their size up so you can you know, send them faster over the internet. So now I've uh, basically got access to inside the zip file here, and I've got two files. There's a DLL and an EX4. Uh, .EX4 is the extension that a MetaTrader uses for all its tools. There's another extension called MQ4, and that is the source code, but eventually all files will be converted to this EX4. And that's basically the machine code that uh, MetaTrader knows how to read and use. So we know this is an indicator. So basically all indicator EX4 files, they need to go uh, into the indicators folder, would you believe? Okay, now if you're dealing with an indicator that basically has a DLL attached to it, sometimes they do. Just a word of caution, uh, a DLL file may contain malicious code, all right? it's it basically allows MetaTrader 4 to call out into Windows and basically have access to all of the Windows environment and, and use all its functions and that to do more advanced tasks. But if someone wanted to, they could use a DLL to do nasty things. So don't use DLLs from somewhere you, that you don't really trust or you, you, you don't know how trustworthy they are or where the DLLs come from. Uh, hopefully you trust me enough to, tr to trust me that I'm not going to do anything nasty to your computer, but that's that's what DLL can do. Back to the installation, the the Forex Guy tools, all DLL files uh, actually by default they need to go into the libraries folder here. So we just click, drag, let go. That copies it in. Uh, that's if you're working inside a zip folder. When you click and drag and let go, it copies it. But otherwise, 
you would have to like copy and paste inside each folder. So if we open like libraries here, uh, we can see that it's in there and uh, indicators, um, price action battle station. So both files are where they need to be. Once you've done that, uh, we need to come back to MT4. Now MT4 right now doesn't know those files are there. Now there's two ways we can kind of refresh MT4 and let it reload or reinitialize uh, the indicators in the in the indicator folder. The old school way is basically to close down MT4 and reopen it. That will force a reload. But uh, MT4 actually has a reinitialization uh, method here. We just click on indicators, right click, and then we click refresh. And that refresh will tell MT4, okay, go look in those folders uh, for new files and compile them or or uh, add them to the list here. And when we expand the indicator tree here, we scroll down and there we are. If your tool uses a DLL file, you actually have to tell MetaTrader 4 to enable those DLLs. Uh, if you go to tools, options, well, let me first let me explain. There's two ways to do it. There's the global method and the the local method. I guess you could call it. Every time you load an indicator, there's there's a way you can enable DLLs you know, on each load. But the easiest way to do it is tools, options, and we want to go to the expert advisors tab. Now here is where you want to go. Allow DLL imports. So if uh, uh, you can see here that MT4 also gives the same warning. Make sure you trust the application because you know you, there could be malicious code in there. But if your indicator or your robot or whatever uses DLLs and that's not um, enabled, then it probably won't load. So it's a catch-22. If you don't want to enable DLLs, then you can't use the tool. But just, yeah, make, if you enable it, then obviously, yeah, you, you're exposing yourself to potentially dangerous code. But that's, yeah, just trust the person and you'll be okay. Once you click OK, this enables DLLs globally from this options panel. All right, so every time we load an indicator onto the chart, it will automatically have the DLL enabled, call enabled. But if we don't do it there, then we can do it uh, on, we, we have to do it every time the we load the indicator to a chart. So when I load the indicator, uh, we click on the common tab and you can see here there's a local setting so we can click allow DLL imports and you can even disable it here on load if you want but if you don't if you don't enable it in the global settings under the tools options there um, you have to check this every time you load the indicator onto the chart which is going to be a pain in the ass all right so once this dialog bo box uh, pops up I'll take a step back so when your indicator is in the list, there's two ways to load it onto the chart. You can double click, or you can just click and drag and let go on the chart. And that will tell MT4, load this indicator on this chart. And when this pops up, obviously you've got some uh, information here, the about common. Now the inputs tab is where uh, the developer or the author of the tool has provided different input options for you. You can probably turn certain things on and off, change colors, change you know settings. You can see my battle station indicator has quite a few options there. You don't have to go through and change them all. You know, I'll have a, a, a special guide up for, for this if you're um, if you're installing the battle station. There'll be separate documentation for here. But generally uh, speaking, the, the default settings and these input options are usually good to get started with at least to have a play around with the indicator. Uh, you got color options here as well. And you can select what time frames you want to show on and so stuff you can explore here as soon as you click okay bang uh it should load on the chart but i didn't log in with my tool so but let me do that if you ever want to modify an indicator that's on your chart right click on the chart it'll bring up this menu click on indicators list and you'll have this menu pop up and we can double click and then we can change the input options on the fly so i'll enter my username and password and then we'll load this up and i'll show you something else all right so i've loaded it up and you can see here that there's drawings and things like lines and markers. You can see the indicators working. Uh, actually, a common problem I, I got from a lot of uh, people was saying that it's, it's not working. It loads on the chart. You may run into the problem where the indicator will actually say it's loaded okay, but you don't really see anything or it's hard to see anything. There's a common problem here, uh, and 
I don't know why this is set by default on some installs. What you want to do is you go uh, right click on the chart, bring up that menu again, but this time click properties. Uh, you want to click on the common tab, all right, and you want to watch out for this setting here chart on foreground. That will, if that is checked, okay, if that's got a tick in it, that will tell MetaTrader 4 to draw the candlesticks over the top of the indicator. Basically, you won't be able to see it properly. I'll show you an example. If I click OK, uh, most, of, most of the candlestick markers are gone. You could hardly see them. Uh, the mean value is still drawn there, but you can see the candlesticks draw over the top. It may have its purposes, but generally you want that unticked. So you watch the difference. You can see the uh, inside candle markers there, uh, reversal candle markers and such throughout there. So you can see it's working properly now. So if you run into that problem there, that's usually what it is, that ch chart on foreground error. Uh, now, if you double click on the indicator or you load it on the screen and it, there is problems, most likely you're going to find them in the experts tab. You'll usually see an error here. You might see something like, uh, you know, array out of range or something like that. That's a design fault. The a developer would need to fix that bug. The code is trying to call a certain part of memory which doesn't exist. You can also check the journal tab as well. Uh, sometimes there's errors here, experts and journals, but most likely you're going to find the error in experts tab. So if something's corrupt or not working properly, um, it'll let you know here and you can sort of take action on that appropriately. All right, so that's basically how you install an indicator and, and get started. Uh, hopefully you guys installing the battle station haven't had any issues there. Just uh, if you do have any issues, just make sure you check the expert tab there, uh, report any errors to me and I'll try and help you out. Thanks for sticking by and watching and uh, enjoy your new indicator.